23andMe, we are talking about the data breach still. And um, on breach forms, uh, they are currently leaking a lot of information um, about people's genetic profiles. And this includes the rich, the famous, and people who are definitely going to be litigious. So 23andMe is now um, probably regretting some of the very permissive settings that were that users were allowed to opt into. Mm -hmm. While it makes it great for them because they can use the data for all sorts of stuff, it also means that anybody getting access to some of these poorly secured accounts is able to pull down the genetic profiles of lots and lots of people who have similarly opted in. So all these people basically agree to share genetic profile data with each other, and hackers were able to exploit this to pull down huge amounts of information. Think of like, um, like when... Facebook was like allowing you to pull in like friends profile information right. and like that one app was able to do all that. That's kind of like what hackers managed to right. do here by logging into different profiles and taking advantage of opt-in settings that allowed them to access other users. Yep. So while this isn't like a wholesale breach, this is uh, definitely a problem um, when it comes to the way that users were able to pull in data. So of course we talk about this all the time, how like there are lots of permissions set that make sure. it so one user getting hit actually means a bunch of users might end up getting hit because that one user has access to so much stuff. This was something that was great for the company, but unfortunately not great for all the people who had opted into these services because it meant that other people opted into the same service were able to pull in their data and have it included in this breach.